had to give it to him a lot more in the second half, which really opened up um, um, outside of the court. Coach Rovick said that this might have been your most complete game since you've been here. It seems like your rebounding numbers have really been going up as well. Is that something that you've been concentrating on as far as getting on the boards? Uh, yeah, during the practice, uh, Coach has really been getting on me a lot about rebounding. Uh, you know, I rebound, so why not do it in the game, you know? So that's just what I've been trying to do. And uh, I just try to help the team is get the win. That's, if I have to rebound more, that's what I'll do. Why weren't you getting more rebounds? Uh, probably just the lack of concentration, just watching the bigs and having them probably go get it when the guards shoot, everybody should rebound. Were you guys more loose in the second half today? Um, I wouldn't say loose. I would probably say just we communicated a little more. Like Coach Gale said during the halftime, just keep our communication up there. They bring it together as a team. Was that fun though, seeing all those lobs and you had to put back down too yourself? I mean, was, is, that, is, that, is that the kind of basketball you guys like to play? Yeah, uh, that's what we're going to be playing a lot, a lot more now. Just transition, uh, one dribble, pass it up. Uh, sometimes no dribble, just push it as fast as we can and uh, get everybody running. Defense, transition defense, that seemed to be a problem in the first half. How do you guys assess that and, and get better? Uh, coach was really emphasized on uh, getting back. And, uh, we didn't really think we were getting back fast enough, so. In the second half, we just really, everybody just ran blind, like Coach says, and just try to get back as fast as you can. Talk about Dakar, he got up and down the floor tonight, got a couple easy <laughs> baskets. You've seen him practice yeah. and improve it? Yeah, he's been working hard, really hard in practice. And uh, when the bigs are working out, he's just busting his tail and uh, just going all out. And uh, he's really showing. And Dominique tonight had a couple open shots of like he passed up. You got some confidence you could rub off on him a little bit? Uh, Dom, I guess, he, Dom's a smart player. and. Uh, if he, if he feels he's not going to like hit the shot, he'll know to just dribble driver easily, just pass it up. Coach said try to get to the lane as much, and that's what he was doing. That's why he didn't want to take the shot. So he was just trying to get to the lane as much as he could. James, how big is this one with two road games uh, coming up? Uh, this, is, this is a real big win for us. And uh, just keep our confidence up and keep moving. And uh, hopefully we'll get these two the next wins. When you spend 10 days in Camp Cal working on so many things, trying to get it smooth and fluid and you come out and start like that. What is Cal's reaction? Uh, he, he was a little mad, upset, and uh, we should have came out with a little bit more fire. And uh, I guess everybody was just a little bit laid back and not ready to attack like we should have been. And the uh, second half, we really just brought it up and communicated a lot more. When you're, when you're taking a lot of shots and missing them, do you ever, it doesn't seem like you, you ever hesitate to take the next one. That missing shots doesn't phase me, and uh, good shooters always has to keep shooting, and then eventually you're gonna hit, uh, get in the rhythm. And, uh, that's what I just try doing. I just try not think about missing any shots or my past shots that I've missed. Just keep going on with the game. Fans sometimes complain about that when they're not falling. But it seems like your coaches have your back on that. They want, they want you to keep. Yeah, definitely. They they don't really care about missed shots either. It's just about how hard we're playing, and uh, if you have the confidence in your shot, and uh, just keep shooting. And uh, I just try, like I said, I don't worry about the shots that I've missed. Shots or not, do, do those other stats in, the, in, the, in your box score sort of define how hard you're playing, the fact that you've, you know, 10 rebounds and more plus in these last couple games? I was just, I don't really care about the stats. I was just really want to get the win. And uh, whatever I have to do to get the win, this is just what I'll do. What kind of, what kind of boost can Dakari give you all when he's playing like he was doing? Uh, a lot of pressure on uh, in the paint. And a lot of guys will probably focus on him a lot more, which will open up the three for us. So once we kick it down to him, everybody will probably double team and uh, give us open shots on the outside. Have you made a conscious effort to increase the rebound in the last two games? I mean, it seems to have uh, Definitely. Uh, coaches know I can rebound, and uh, I've just been trying to bust my toe to get to the paint and just go hard as I can get the rebound. Have you seen Alex sort of transform in some way over the course of this season? Yeah, uh, he's came a long way. and. Uh, He's just getting real better, better and better every day in practice. And it's just showing in the games now. Was it, was it nice for you as a teammate to see him? Because Cal keeps talking about keeps talking about that, how he's practiced, but we haven't fully seen it in a game maybe until tonight. You to finally see him show everybody else. Yeah, we've seen him go hard. Like nobody's ever seen him go hard that hard. And uh, in practice, he just goes the hardest out of everybody. His heart rate's always the highest. And uh, he just really goes hard. And, uh, as you can see tonight, he can't miss a dunk. A month ago, Dakari doesn't get off the bench against Boise State, and then tonight, you know, he has a maybe a career high in minutes. I'm not sure. It, has he gotten a lot better over the past month, or is it just better matchups, or maybe a little bit of both? Uh, he's he's gotten a lot better, and uh, the workouts that the big men do is just a lot of intensity, and uh, I think it's just carrying over in the games. He's just getting better every day. How much has Dominique impressed you since you got here with the, the energy he can? He brings a lot of energy and uh, helps us a lot on defense. And when we need to stop, Dominique's always the one uh, pick us up. Did you expect that from him coming into this? 
Uh, definitely. Uh, I saw a couple of his videos too before I got here, and he was always a good defensive player then. So. Is there a technique for you why you don't dribble on your free throws? Is it something that you've been doing all your whole life? Yeah. No, I feel like I don't need to dribble. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's just another shot. Just So I just try to get in the rhythm and just get my shoulder squared up and just shoot the free throw. Your family was here tonight, right? Yeah. You have a little nervous when it's that excited? No, it just gave me an extra boost in energy. And uh, they've always been every game, actually. And uh, I don't know, I just put a smile on my face to see them come here. And everybody came. and. Uh, I just really wanted to show up for him. What did you all learn about each last other question, the last 10 days of not playing this practice as a team? Uh, we learned a lot about each other, and it just brought us closer together as a team. And uh, um, We communicate a lot more, and uh, that's what I think will help us in the game.